and welcome to the sixth week of review shows for the Northern Ireland Women's Football Association. I'm Colin Hopkins. And I'm Rio O'Kane. And here's what's coming up on today's pack show. It's a change of competition this week as our match highlights feature first round action from the first round of this season's Kerr Group Insurance Super Cup. We have post-match interviews from both sides after our featured game. And finally it's the weekly roundup of scores and league standings from across all of the NIWFA competitions. So Colin, someone's in good form today. Well, what can I say? It's been a good week for those of us who support the mighty Chelsea Football Club, uh, proving that once again we're the most successful club of the, the millennium. Uh, better than Manchester United, better than Liverpool, better than Arsenal, better than Spurs. More trophies than any of them, so yeah, I'm bound to be in good form. <laughs> you know you might be upsetting some of our viewers out there. Well, okay. Sorry about that if I have, but... Not sorry, really. <laughs> and hey, what have we got coming up in today's show? Well, today is our first coverage of this season's Car Group Insurance Super Cup, a new competition for the NIWFA this season. Maybe you'd like to tell our viewers how it works. Yes, Ron, I can certainly do that. The Car Group Insurance Super Cup is basically like the, the FA Cup of Ladies Football now in Northern Ireland. It's a competition which is open to all the teams across all of the divisions. So all of a sudden the girls have a chance of against playing against sides from right across the country. A lot of sides who they've never, never played before. So yeah, it could be a very, very exciting competition. Sounds good and like a good chance for the girls to, to test themselves from the different divisions. Well it is, as you say there, at the end of the day, you know, you could get one of the lower sides coming up against one of the top sides in the NIWFA, which could be a very, very interesting game. We'll just see exactly where they are in terms of standards and levels and so forth. So yeah, I think it's going to as a prospects are going to be a really, really top competition. Excellent. So what um, game do we have coming up today then? Well, today we're going to start the, the coverage off the Car Group Insurance Super Cup with a, a trip to Shamrock Ladies who are in the third division and they're at home to the ladies of Palamakai's Young Ladies who are in the second division. So there's every chance of an upset. Bear in mind that both these ties won League Cups last year. It promises to be an exciting game. So here's the highlights. <music>
I've coached Northern Ireland's up and coming talent at every level. When you see raw talent, you know you've got to nurture that and develop that in the right direction. You see that at the top level, and I see that in Grace. Her speed of play, her speed of thought, she has vision. She's going to be a real game changer. Electric Ireland, changing the game for women's football in Northern Ireland. So Colin, you did say there would be a possibility of some upsets in the competition. Yeah, and we've just seen our first one. Um, Shamrock ladies, obviously a division lower, and Bal Mackay's young ladies would have been the underdogs. But to their credit, you know the the battle like tigers for ninety minutes, uh, fully deserved the result, and have now found themselves in the next round of the competition. Bal Mackay, for me anyway, never really got started on the night. I think they struggled from from the kick off. I just never really got in the gear. And they did hit the woodwork twice. Eh? Well, they did, and it could have been a very very different you know outcome if I had those sort of went in, but. Football's a game of putting in the back of the net. On that occasion, it didn't. But as I say, over the 90 minutes, Shamrock better side, two great goals from Nikita O'Neill, really sealed the deal, and they're now in the next round of the competition. Great, so who does Shamrock play next then? Well, have a quick look at the, the rest of the results, and obviously then the draw for the next round as well. Well, as you can see from the draw, Shamrock ladies have been given a home game against St James and Smith in round two of the competition. And that promises to be a fascinating game of football. Elsewhere in the first round, Foyle Bells won 3-1 against Lauren Ladies. Coleraine Ladies travelled to Armagh City Ladies and won 2-1. And Banbridge Rangers Ladies won 4-1 against the Ladies of Money Slain. And all of those teams now move into the second round of the competition, the draw of which is now on your screens. After our featured game, Colin spoke to Shamrock Captain Zoe McCauley and Bally McCash head coach Richard Hunter for their thoughts on the match and here's what they had to say. Tony, first of all, congratulations on a fantastic win tonight. Thank you. You must be well pleased. Yes, we are. We were missing a couple of key players tonight, so we were a bit worried going into the game. We knew that they were a division above us. They won a cup early last season, so we were well aware of the talent that they had, but we persevered and got the win in the end. As you say, they won a cup last year, so did you. So, so did then it seems to be that you can yeah. raise your game for these cup matches. We so. can. We can. We know whenever it's pressure, and we can play well under pressure. We can play very well at home as well. Next round you have to come up against St James of Swift, will be a little yeah. bit of friendly rivalry in that one. Yeah, there will be. We've played against a couple of the girls before in previous teams and we know how talented they are. They're doing very well this season, so it'll be a good game. Once you have a chance of getting a result there. Eh? Could they? Can't rule us out. Always perform yeah. well. Richard, first of all, uh, disappointing result there tonight. Mm-hmm. What do you make of the game? Uh, yeah, better team won. Uh, we, we we literally just we just didn't show up this evening. Um, frustrating. Uh, every single clutch difficult decision we had the night we got it wrong uh, and we haven't like that all year this is that's probably the worst performance that we've ever put together certainly as a club from last year going into this year and it, it's frustrating it's disappointing we knew this would be a difficult place to come to and we just didn't show up uh, you probably started the game as favourites to be honest you're a division ahead of Obviously, your opposition now, but just didn't happen. Absolutely, no. Listen, they, they were they were very good. Um, girl up front, number eleven. I'm not sure of her name, but she was head and shoulders above everybody else in the pitch. Um, constant threat, made it difficult for us. And when you don't when you don't show up, you don't show the character and fight that we usually do. Um, it's frustrating. The only consolation is. It's a cup competition that I feel we didn't really have any chance of winning, um, and you know uh, I'm not so that uh, I'm okay with that side of things. I'd rather do it on a night like the night than a, than, a, than a league game Wednesday night for us. Certainly this week is the bigger game. So there was one minute to play in the second half for each change the whole game. You, I know you were trailing two 0 at the time. Yeah, you hit the crossbar that it went in two one different game, but they went straight up the pitch, scored. Well, there's no VAR through. at this level, so you don't know. <laughs> Uh, no, listen, yeah, 100% that change, that, that's a flip of a coin, you, 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 you know, that bounces in, gets it back to 2-1, suddenly momentum is our direction, but unfortunately in, uh, this evening, bounced out and we didn't defend it properly, so it's, we've only got ourselves to blame. Okay, thanks for having me. No problem, thanks very much. Okay. As well as the Super Cup kicking off this week, there was also a full programme of league matches, so let's now have a look at the result from across the NIWFA leagues. In the championship, the big match of the day saw league leaders Lurgan Ladies extend their lead at the top of the table to six points following a superb 1-0 victory away to second-placed Lisburn Ladies. Car Money Ladies returned to winning ways, winning 6-2 against Killen Rangers, and there was also big wins for Ballymena All-Stars and East Belfast Ladies, whose victory over Crew Ladies leaves the Glenavy Bayside rooted to the foot of the table. In Division 1, St James' Spurs continued their perfect start of the season, making it 6 wins from 6, following a fine win away to Balinch Ladies. That result allowed Mid Ulster Ladies to move into 2nd place in the table, following a fine victory against PSNI. 
and elsewhere put it down Ladies beat Bangor Ladies by three goals to one and Belfast Celtic Ladies had a fine win away to Armagh City Ladies. In Division 2, Coleraine Ladies opened a two-point gap at the top of the table following a fine home victory against Lord Ladies by the score of four goals to nil. Elsewhere, Cardinally Ladies Athletic picked up three big points, defeating Chimney Corn Ladies by three goals to one. In the third division, St Oliver Plunkett kept up the pace at the top of the table following a fine 5-1 victory away to Kilmore Wreck. Stranger Ladies came back down to earth following their recent cup success, losing 1-0 at home to Banbridge Town, who remain in second. And the 22nd Ladies picked up a massive win, defeating Dramara Village by two goals to one. And finally in Division 4 this week, Lisburn Rangers continued their dominance of the division with another fine win, this time away to Camlock Rovers. There were also wins for Lauren Olympic, Balamina United Seconds and Banbridge Rangers Ladies. Belfast Ravens remain pointless, however performances are improving week on week, so surely it's only a matter of time before they get up and running. And that completes our coverage of week 6 of NIWFA Football. On behalf of Rowan and myself, thank you so much for watching today's show, and indeed for your ongoing support for women's football in Northern Ireland. Until next time, it's bye for now, but don't forget... Girls get football. football.